Hello everybody and welcome back to Moon Quest and today I have got a confession to make. I have not recorded everything that I have done because I'm fairly sure that you're very bored of watching me mine into the ground. So I've fast forwarded through all the mining of the last episode, as you've seen, uh, and now, uh, not the last episode, before the last episode, and basically I've decided that I'll do any mining I need to do off camera because it's just not fun to watch me tediously collect resources. So I've been down underground and done some strip mining, and I have some resources. I haven't got enough um, diamonds just yet, but I will continue to do some strip mining eventually. But today I want to start getting this bloody thing to work. So I've done some research, and I have looked into what's going on. Oh, steam funnel. And a steam dynamo will do the job for me uh, as such so how many copper do we have seven and two copper gears already ah we already have quite a lot of what we need let's see if this will actually be a lot more a lot sooner than i thought it was going to be which way around was this no i'm gonna missing a single piece of redstone very, very frustrating there we go. Right. We now have a steam dynamo. So if we take my wrench from wherever it is. Um, I don't even know why I did that. That's not what I meant to do. But if we take the, the steam dynamo, put it down, and then put the pulverizer next to it, we should now be able to rotate this. And then by putting a bucket of water in it, which we'll need to go and get some more of, and then putting some coal in it, it will now generate power, which will then, once we configure this to not have an input over there, like so, which means I can now, hopefully, if I grab the right ores in the right chest, for example, start doubling my ores. So let's quickly go and get some more water. Now, once we've got another one more bucket of water, we'll be able to create an infinite water source. I did a little bit of extra work on my house, as you can see. I will put the finishing touches to it eventually as you can see i need some more wood um but we are making steady progress now that we've got a few things sorted out and we can start building machines which is really the key once i can get some machines going once i can start automating some of this we should be almost set with everything that we need okay so if we put that in that corner Borrow this one for a second, put it into this corner, get our infinite water source, put that back into there for now, and then we will keep this populated with water so that it can keep generating steam. Okay, now is there an aqueous accumulator? There is. It's tin, a machine frame which is new, requires gold glass so we should be able to build one of those already got that so let's get the aqueous accumulator oops on the go So we need some tin. What else do we need? Machine frame, which is iron and gold. Did I make a gold one before? Crap, don't click on the ground with the bucket. I thought I collected it again. Apparently not. Burning steam quite quickly. 
which is bad. Let's build another machine frame, hopefully. Why didn't that work? Well, don't tell me that because it's tin and something else. I oh, know it's definitely tin. We've got tin. We need a bucket. This is fine. I can deal with buckets. Right, an Aquas accumulator. So if we dig this out here, put down the Aquas accumulator, that's absolutely rinsed through all of that. Collect that and just put it on this side. And then we could make a very simple pipe. We need, but we can't. We need. We need. Uh, what's it called in this mod pack? Copper hardened glass bugger. Can't make hardened glass. Can I pump directly into it? be a no then maybe or yes apparently Yes, we can. Result. So that can power that, which is then going to power this, which I can then use to just sort of grind crap loads of stuff. And then, can I do something weird, like put a regular furnace next to it? Will it pump out? into here. No, I didn't think it would, but I thought I'd risk it to give it a try. So that's cool. So let's get uh, a chest for it to pump dust into because that's going to be helpful. And we'll make that Orange pumps it all out. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I do say so myself. I know I've got so many different types of copper. But that's going to work nicely. Generating us a lot of wonderful ores to use. Uh huh. So, um,. Is producing, it's producing a surplus of energy. But I can't really transport it anyway, can I? What is the name of the redstone pipe now? It's still an energy conduit. I'm sure there's something else I can use to transfer wire. What can I transfer RF with? Loads of energy cells. Uh, 
Where's this wire? What can I use? Ah, uh, that's all the um, cool Tinker's Construct stuff I want to play with as soon as but there it is. Item duct, fluid duct, resident energy conduit, impulse item duct, hardened energy, leadstone energy. So what's lead, redstone? So we need to make the leadstone stuff first. Oh, that's easy enough. Redstone and lead. Oh, I can deal with that. So get get this lead on the go. And then once we've got that on the go, we can perhaps power a couple of things. I only need two ingots for six. It's just regular glass. I'm running out of sand, am I? Too bad for sand. A little, bit, a little bit short on glass though. Let's make more sand. I'll go and find more sand. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. That goes there and that goes there. I think this is just leadstone energy conduit. Interesting. So can we do such a thing as this? Collect that. What is required for not an electric furnace, what's it called now? Powered, nope. Fern, why am I not getting, oh, stupid 17 nonsense. Redstone furnace, electric furnace, that one. Machine frame bricks, which requires clay. Mm, this is the this is the dream, so it needs copper, redstone, machine frame. Machine frame requires iron. I've now got a crap load of dust off. Oh, we don't want to burn the house, do we? We have to have some coal. It's just we, we'll uh, we'll make do with what we've got, and we will do what we need to do. So we need to get some clay. How much clay have I got? I think I've got some. Three. They were near enough. Um, let's drop off anything that we've got which could be considered valuable because what I'm probably going to do is go and drown in the uh, in the ocean like a numpty you got any gold in here Some gold digging, right? So let's go and see if we can see some coal. Uh, coal, some clay. If I get a powered furnace going, that would be the ultimate our starting combo of machines: the pulverizer and the powered furnace. But from previous experiences, when I go underwater, basically what I will do is I will drown. Is that clay? That's sand. We hope to get lucky in the shallows. I think I need to find a river, don't I, rather than the sea. Clay is more of a a river based. Let's just double check if this sneaky underground underwater tactic still works. Go up to the wall and hit down this one. Yeah it does.
There's some clay. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. This could be bad. Get in the water quickly. Right, how much clay did I get? 32, that'll do. Let's get out of the water before I drown. Whoa. You had no idea how nervous I am after the result. I'm going to have to have a drink. Oh, yeah. I didn't die in the water. First time for everything. Breaking some records here. Oh, come on. Come on. Get out of there. Right. To my home base. Let's build this powered furnace. Need to make eight bricks. It's all about doing as minimum as possible at the moment. You're doing iron. Makes sense just to go through the process of mashing up as much as possible. So this is absolutely rinsing my resources, which is, I guess, a problem. But at the same time, sorry, I didn't mean to smash the microphone. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I can always just cook, cook ores in a regular furnace with some wood. I can get loads of wood from the trees around me in the forest. It's very renewable. So with the machine frame, I need my last piece of gold, some of this iron that I've been cooking up. Which of the coils does it need? The one that I've already made? I think. Was that the one I've already made? Yep. Some copper. Got some copper. Some redstone. Got some redstone. It's just these last four bricks. Making it into one of these. And then we should be able to make a powered furnace. A redstone furnace as it's now called. Mash this out of the way. Should be getting power. And we should now all be automatically getting ingots. Result. How class is that? We have the starting combination. absolutely flying through now aren't we that's going to drain a lot of resources until we can get it sorted out but i think there's probably coal yeah there's coal all over the place for collecting so i can collect plenty of coal off camera so i have the powered furnace now a redstone furnace as it's now called and i have the pulverizer and so we're good we're doubling our ores it's bedtime. Let's just check my garden. It's like you're done, you're done, and you're done. My indoor carrot farm. I did collect some wheat, so I could make... Not quite. I can make three loaves of bread. It's not really worth it. But we are starting to industrialise our world. And I think that's where I want to end this episode. My first machines. And it's all gone perfectly to plan kind of as long as you don't look at all the problems that occurred in the past so i hope you enjoyed the episode we're starting to get there now we're starting to look forward we're starting to get ready to build and industrialize our world hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll see you again soon bye for now guys